The original idea, I suppose, comes from watching tennis matches. When you see some of the slow-mos, you suddenly get a sense that there's much more going on. It sort of unpacks the drama. And I thought, well, what would happen if you slowed it down more and you'd get this kind of operatic sense of the, the, you know, the confrontation in a tennis match that would be great to put music to. One of the inspirations was going and seeing um, Bill Viola's exhibition Angels, uh, where he had um, divers diving into water in extremely slow motion. These ghostly figures in his films were very um, depersonalised and, in a sense, sort of shadows or ghosts that drifted across the screen. They didn't have any intention or personality. And I thought it would be great if you had this degree of incredible balletic slow movement but you had a definite urge behind it which obviously you'd get in a sporting situation. I chose Tim Herman well, A because I really like tennis but B because he represents something especially to the kind of British psyche which is much more than just some, you know, racket-wielding superhero. There's flaws there, there's conflict, inner conflict. You can see the synapses firing almost in real time. You can see the urges flashing across his face. Uh, you can see the determination and the, the, the kind of raw desire in his eyes and the way that he suddenly will, almost in a sort of animal-like way, you know, sort of panther preparing to pounce, uh, zone in. They were playing some of the Walter Carlos, Wendy Carlos switched on Bach on Radio 3. Uh, so I was driving along somewhere and um, I was just sort of reminded how incredible that was. Then thinking, well, has anybody ever tried to perform this synthesized orchestration live and have this totally synthesized but also acoustic chamber ensemble? Then my mind started working out, you know, well, who, who could possibly do that? Who could play that? Who would have enough understanding of the kind of expressive quality of synthesizers? And basically everyone on that list that came to me then is in this group which is absolutely fantastic. To be playing music on instruments which were invented three, four, five hundred years ago is not something that we're indefinitely going to be able to do. We need to be taking music instruments on to a new era um, that come from our own experience on our own time and our own technology and our own our own uh, soul so I think what we 
came out with, um, with the support of this, the Bath Festival for this uh, one-off gig was that the Bach arrangements, the Henman piece, are very early days in the possibility of what the, the group could do. The great thing about the players uh, in the group is that so many of them are also composers and that they all have had first-hand experience of what the possibilities are and hopefully will be bringing music to the group. So I think we have, we have possibly the birth of something uh, of, a, of, a, of a sort of modern day chamber orchestra that um, genuinely comes from our own era.